Lunatone has water absorb? Is that something we've seen? Great. So instead of a resistance to fighting, I now have immunity to water. Great. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. Explode. I'm glad I went back and refueled my fucking cross chop. Because Explode's scary. Ooh, Horn Leech! Oh man, what do I get rid of for that? 75... It's actually a step down on all my moves. And I don't need recovery that much, so actually... I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Damn it. Hit the wrong button. Oh, hey, it's Gerby. <sighs> and it's still no Sacred Fire somehow. Or did it just learn that? I can't remember. Well, what level did Gerby die? 33. Okay, so it would still conceivably know it. You know, that's two things that had a 50% chance of happening. That happened. There was a less chance of getting the defense drop and the burn than there was of me missing cross chop twice in a row. Wait. No. No, there was a higher odds of the burn. Never mind. 50 is higher than 20. Dang. I can math. And I can't be having my physical attacker burned. What do you want? Better not be a fight. Because I'm going to be pissed if it's a fight. Son of a bitch! I wanted to stop grinding at 50. Now, I have a feeling I have to fight both of them. Withdraw Tauros. Don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. That's right, I have, I have a fire type attack now. You're you're joking, right? You're fucking joking, right? Oh, great. 
the focus energy. Great! It's gonna ignore its fucking special attack drops if it gets a critical hit. Love you too, game! Rimpardos, great! Oh, wow. And another fucking explode. Why? Oh, it's not... It's not just the game. Being a dick. I'm hitting my L2 button. It's not speeding up. I'm pissed that I don't have my speed up. Had it for every session so far. But nope, I install a new fucking driver and shit goes crazy. And for some reason it's reading my fucking sticks as fucking Z rotation. Oh! Guess I don't have to fight them both. Hope not. Shut up! How many max revives did she give me? Two. Oh, there's the Amoongus. Level 40, no less. Wow. Wish I had a better Psychic type attack. Like, I don't know. Psychic? Horn Leech actually almost makes sense on Amoongus. Probably because Giga Drain's a move that I normally use, and that's basically what Horn Leech is. Just physical shifted. Yeah, but that's convenient. Because, you know, where's the fun in not needing to run to fucking Pokemon Center every ten fucking fights. Oh, hi, Chinchino! I am in the dark grass, aren't I? Oh, great! Night days! That's... nice. Come on, get the... paralyzed, you... Oh. Get the paralyze so that I can fucking flinch this fucker. Thank you.
Come on, body slam t sucks. Unless you've got fucking serene grace or something. Yeah, side beam would be better. Well, this will be an easy kill. Twenty six hundred experience. <sighs> Snover. I'm not actually on the path to Victory Road, am I? Because I came along the grass route here to take a detour. Because I'm not wanting to go to Victory Road quite yet. I want to get that item ball. Plessel, too strong. Whatever will I do? I don't even remember what Miss Piggy's ability is. like sturdy or something? Shell armor. Okay, it is useful. Never mind. A dusk stone. Great. Oh, that's how you get there. Oh, that was totally fucking worth it. Yup. All that work for what the fuck boom. Or actually, well, what the fuck boom is explosion. It's more like what the fuck. Pfft. Yes, 50 power is that big of a difference. Between an ineffectual little puff of air and something getting its ass torn out. Apparently. Roar of Time on Glygar. Oh, yeah, I got an update on my, uh... Bridge 3DS today. Yeah, I forgot that those guys would, uh, shut down for Golden Week. So, they were shut down all last week. And they said that they were just now shipping out orders placed in March. They're like, yeah, uh, we can't give any kind of update or anything, like an estimated ETA. But, uh, yeah, when we got working again, the, uh, we started shipping out orders that were placed on March 10th. I'm like, great! I ordered mine on April 16th. Oh yeah! I'm assuming I'm not gonna get it till at least June. Maybe July. Which... 
kind of pisses me off. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Though, assuming that the fucking place is, you know, wait, sequential ordering, I'm only number 1419. Hopefully that's, like, order number for the year. Which, if it is, holy shit. <laughs> if not, then what the hell. <laughs> Love how I'm trying to train my grump pig and there's nothing I can hurt very badly. Because Miss Piggy's coverage sucks. Fuck, I'm just going straight for Air Slash. Oh. Do I have huge special defense? Or is that just my special attack being shit? My special attack's higher than my physical attack. Okay, is there some kind of payoff to this? Please tell me there's payoff to the fact that you're going all the way to plus six defense! Fucking, I'm wasting my last mist ball on you. And you're probably still gonna survive. Oh, wow. Mark me as pleasantly surprised. I'm glad the Gigalith doesn't have shit for special attack. Why is x so common up here? I mean, yeah, I know. I've got match similar strength checked, but... Why so many x -plouds? Hadn't seen one up until now, and I've seen three on this route alone. I'm not risking a critical hit. Because it's gonna happen. If I hadn't healed, it would have been a crit and killed. Because that's just my luck. Before I go into Victory Road proper, I might have to run and heal. You know, I'm actually kind of curious about something. You cannot access Route 10 at all in Black 2, White 2. What happens if you use a walkthrough wall cheat to go into the uh, tunnel here? Is there still data for Route 10? Or not? I am legitimately curious. No, I can go back. It's just... I have to do them anyway. Might as well take care of them and then immediately go in. Oh, there's... Wait. 
Yeah, I was about to say, there should be the badge gates. Trio badge. Oh, okay. Just autopilots me. Hang on, what does the town map say about here? Still Route 10. But, I know there's grass on this route. So... Yep, right there. What do I get in the Victory Road Gate? Oh! Drodagon! Weird! Drodagon... Thirty-nine. Let's hit him with body slam. See if we can proc the paralyze. Try attack. Now, I think uh, Dredagon's only in the caves of Victory Road proper. <sighs> Thanks for the fake out game. Not type worth shit today. Warms his body by absorbing sunlight with its wings. When his body temperature falls, it can no longer move. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds here. Call him Goober gone. Her, I mean. Oh, <laughs> a little late knife. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. Oh, double battle. With Quillfish. I'm not even gonna bother.
Wow. That preschooler told me I need the Quake Badge. And the moron running the gate told me I need the Quake Badge. I wonder if I need the Quake Badge to open this door. <laughs> this is a neat effect right here. Fucking wind. You need the freeze badge. Stay frosty. <laughs> Shut up. I hate these puzzles. Not that it was hard. I like the Charizard heads. Alright, victory road proper. Oh. Shup it, really? They need, they put the gates there for, you know, for show. And I got screwed on my Victor Road <laughs> encounter. This is a freaking dust spot. And it's Shup It. Excadrill got replaced by Shup It. Let's see if I don't kill it. And I am significantly higher level. Really wish I could trigger critical counters, but I can't. Oh, wow. It loves vengeful emotions and hangs in rows under the eaves of houses where vengeful people live. Mwah, spooky!